Hey guys, so I wanted to show you how to put up an antenna, an N-fed antenna into a tree. So I've got this garage, I don't know, it's about, I'd say 25 feet tall, something like that, uh, but not super tall. Then I've got this tree back here, it's about 55, 60 feet tall. Um, so a much better candidate to string a wire antenna over. But let me... Uh, let me walk up and show a little bit closer up uh, what I'm talking about here. So, this is a courtyard, so not a ton of property to be dealing with, but let me show you here. So I've got, you should be able to see that wire going into the upstairs window, and then that same wire goes up into that tree and that is about see if I can zoom in on that at least 50 feet tall so you can see the wire going up in there and that's what I got seems to be working pretty good too because I've been making contacts all over the place so let me uh, see if I can pause this and I'll show you some more of it. Okay, so here is the inside of the house. And as you can see out there, you should be able to see, that's the tree. And the wire, you can see right in the center there, comes down and then into this window. Then we've got it going down here into the matching network. And then this actually goes downstairs. That hole goes all the way downstairs into the basement where I got the ham shack. So we'll stop it here and uh, resume down there. Okay, so a bit messy down here in my tool room slash ham shack. Um, let me show you where this, this antenna comes down from the second floor all the way down into the basement. I've got it running down here, behind, underneath, and then ultimately into the uh, antenna tuner, and then into the radio. Um, I'll get into more in-depth uh, on this. There's my grounding block back there. I'll uh, I'll do some more videos about ham radio in general and, and get into this a lot better, but um, for now I just wanted to show you what you can do in a limited space with an antenna. This is an MFJ, I believe it's a 1984 uh, N-fed antenna, which means that it is fed from one end rather than the center, like a dipole would be. And the antenna has been performing very well. I've made contacts um, all over the United States. Uh, I haven't done any DX with that antenna other than Canada. Actually, you know what, I did do France. Uh, so um, it, it's doing very well. The the uh, solar activity is very bad right now. The the cycle is at a trough, um, so there's issues with that. But as far as putting up an antenna that's going to get you out, uh, this one is 40 meters through 10. Um, like I say, I'll get into more detail about ham radio in the future. But for now, I wanted to show you how you can get up and running with a, a limited uh, footprint. Um, that front courtyard's pretty small, but I got that, I was fortunate enough to have a, a tree that goes up 50 feet in the air. So that gives me quite a bit of uh, vertical uh, real estate there. So anyway, we'll get into more detail in the future, but just wanted to start with that one. Uh, talk to you later.